Hello guys and gals, it's been quite a while since I made a progress video of what I've been up to. Uh, I've been working on my shops, doing some renovations, making space for my chopper build. I had to build some shelving and cleaned out my shop here. I had to remove some old shelving off of this wall so I had room to walk around my chopper without banging myself. And I picked up some garage sale shelves. So I mounted them to the wall for some bodywork supplies and stuff. Put some tools on and there's one shelf mounted to the wall. And then I put one up on my back wall. And I cleared up this wall here. I'm thinking of putting a little window in this little area here. Might remove a little bit more of my shelving here. So I can have a nice window with some more light at the back of the shop. Just trying to get prepared to get back at the chopper build fairly soon. I'm still working on the Camaro doors, just about there. Just finishing up uh, the corner edging here. Get it in some body, Everglass body filler and some primer. A little bit of work on that one yet. And I got my other one out here. It's on its second coat of Everglass body filler. But I got to fix this one edging here. It's a little bit too far in, so I might have to open up this corner and tweak it a little bit. So I'm making progress on the Camaro doors. And here's my big project that I just finished getting a couple of days ago from my neighbor. Here's some shocks and parts. It's a little uh, go-kart. I wouldn't exactly call it little. It's got some of the front suspension. Did a bit of fabbing on all the framing and stuff. I sanded down the whole frame and uh, put on some etching primer, two coats, just to seal it up for the winter. I'm just doing a cage mock-up with a little bit of uh, wood here, trying to get a little bit of a cage over the driver's area and dash. And uh, just figure a design I want that you can get in and out without banging yourself and protection for the driver. It came with a Yamaha 550 motorcycle engine. He had it running last year, but never, of course, he never had any tires or anything on the go-kart or anything, so he never got to really test it, but it's quite a, quite a wiring diagram here to figure out. So we've got to go through the motor a little bit, clean her up a little bit more, and He's got the lower mounts in, but he doesn't have the upper mounts, so I've got to fab them up for the upper motor mounts for the motorcycle engine yet. So, just waiting for a friend to get home from work. It's going to help me put the motor back in the frame, bolt her in. Got her all blocked up here, so it's stable enough to put the motor back in. Then I can figure out some more fabbing on the 
engine mounts and figure this out. Got to figure out a seat, so I got to go do some garage sale and looking around, see what I can find and find a small seat for it and mounting it up and needs all suspension lots of little stuff get some tires and rims have to buy a new chain for the motor once I figure out the rear rear axle and gearing and all of that stuff It was a pretty much a steal. The motor for alone is worth a couple hundred bucks if it runs. So and I paid the paid my buddy forty bucks for the whole darn thing. So just another project I really didn't really need. But what the heck? Keeps the mind busy and the body busy. So I got some suspension parts in the exhaust that I can fab on it and go through and some cable linkage and You got to figure out all the mounting for the front suspension. So I'm just trying to tweak this cage design. I want it sleek and not too heavy looking, but safe. You got quite the wiring in the back. So I gotta figure out all the wiring on the dash and put some gauges in and gas gauge and all that kind of stuff. Figure all that out. Looks like spaghetti right now. It had some side rails on it that I cut off. There were some big side rails. This tubing here all along it's sticking way out into here I didn't like the look of it so I cut it all off and I'm going to use it for the cage design see some of the rails here cut up and there's some more of the railing rails on the side and there's more tubing and that Here's some of my extra chopper build tubing if I need to use some to build the cage so just trying to figure it out So that's pretty much it for what I've been up to the last while. Um, you get a little bit done on my Ford Ranger truck. Still working on these quarter panels and it's rusting up on me again. When I got my doors back on, I still got to sand all the Everglass body filler down yet, inside and out. All right, got the door back on for the winter. And I still got the 305 engine in the back of the truck with the tranny, Turbo 350, covered for the winter. 
And there's the driver's door on. Still got to do some patching and welding on the inner inside of the sill bottom edging yet. Inside the door pillar areas. And finish off the rear patches yet. Here's my little girl trying to come out. You get back in there. So there's just a little updated video for you guys and gals since it's been quite a long time. So hope to hear some comments and ideas and suggestions on anyone who's built go-karts knows about suspension. She's a big one. I'd say she's got to be, I haven't measured her yet, she's got to be close to seven foot long here. So we'll just see how it goes as I build here. Get that motor set up and get it figured out here. So if you guys have any great suggestions on go-kart stuff and parts and whatever and building them with motorcycle engines. <laughs> Uh, I'd love to hear some comments, so thanks for watching, talk to you all a little, a little bit later again, and all have a great day. Bye-bye.